When you talk about Monsanto, uh, we think Roundup. Uh, I know you've talked to Stephanie Seneff. Uh, I've talked to her a couple times. And when she describes the role that glyphosate plays, not only in the plants, but then as it gets into our uh, food system as well, uh, it, it's mind boggling. Can you talk about the danger of that and what that poses to our health? Well, as we talked about, it has all these different properties. It's antibiotic, it's a chelator, it's an endocrine disruptor, et cetera, et cetera. And um, there are charts that she has produced and also um, others have produced uh, that are breathtaking in the correlation between the amount of glyphosate-based herbicides sprayed on GMO soy and corn and 30 diseases autism, uh, cancers, diabetes, ob deaths from obesity, et cetera, et cetera. Now, if you look at these alone, in, out of context, you can't take correlation and do much else with it on its own. It doesn't prove causation. Because they happen to rise in parallel, almost exactly in some cases, it's interesting information, but unless you have a causative plausible causative argument, causative argument or other data supporting it, then it just becomes uh, curious. Here we have plausible causative arguments clearly linking that particular disease with glyphosate or in some cases with GMOs. And we have animal feeding studies, et cetera, et cetera. So it may be, you know, she and others have call, called it the most chronic, chronically toxic chemical in the world because of its long-term exposure, its ubiquitous use, hundreds of millions of pounds.